Hello everybody! Today, let's make something delicious, nutritious, and Korean authentic side dish called jangdeok. Jangdeok is a pancake. You can use many different kinds of ingredients. Today, we are going to use kale. Everybody knows that kale is very nutritious. All kinds of vitamins, minerals, especially calcium, a lot of calcium there. In Korea, this is very unfamiliar vegetable. When I was living in Korea, just it was like a kale was imported from foreign country, but everybody kind of knew that, oh, kale, you gotta eat kale. So we used to make the kale juice. Just we use a juicer, electric juicer, kale plus apple. But my grandmother, if she were alive today, probably she would think about, I'll make jangdeok with this. Because I remember she made the jangdeok with buchu, Asian chives. Sometimes she used some you know, green chili pepper and all kind of stuff. She didn't know about the kale because kale didn't exist when she was alive. Since I live in America, Canada, like, oh, this kale, how can I make a delicious, nutritious like side dish, Koreanized side dish with foreign vegetables? <laughs> So I was thinking that this is what about the making jangdeok and that it turned out so good. Jangdeok is a side dish for rice. It has to be a little salty because rice is a blend. Instead of using salt, we use jang. Jang is that like a, a gochujang, duenjang. So gochujang hot pepper paste and soybean paste. So we are going to use two items. Fermented soybean paste, very salty. I will use around two tablespoons. Sweet, spicy, gochujang, around one and a half tablespoon. And one cup water. So well mix. The color is turned into a little orange color. Beautiful. We made this batter. And then this kale, we are going to use onion and some green chili pepper or red chili pepper for color. So it's optional. So first, I washed this. Kale is like between this really leafy and really curvy. So inside you need to really wash it carefully. Stems actually not bad. You chop it up and make this like a doenjang jjigae. Add doenjang jjigae or stir fry, with saute with a little olive oil, garlic, and really tasty. Just chop it up really finely. I'm using two cups. This is two cups around 60 grams. long green chili pepper and one red chili pepper for color. Let's mix. This junk dog is you can pan fry or you can steam this. The consistency like this. The smells really like earthy smell the, from doenjang, soybean paste. Heavy for me is a 12 inch size. But you can use a 10 or a 12 inch. We are going to make a really thin pancake. If the pancake is too thick, it's not tasty and also not crispy. You see the bottom side turns very crispy. And, but I'm going to wait until I can flip or you can use your spatula. Are you ready to flip? Awesome. 
I use around 2 tablespoons vegetable oil. Generous amount of oil makes your pancake very crispy. Sometimes press down like this to cook evenly and shake. Okay, one more time flip. Yes. Can you see? This is a very crispy. Eh? Yeah. So I will just wait until the bottom is very crispy and that means that both sides are crispy. And then I still have some leftover. I will make that like a small size, cute circle shape with this. Cut some garnish. Well cooked. Both sides are crispy. Today we made kale jangta. This is a small size, like small size and one large size. Mm. Usually kale by itself is not very tasty, even though that's very nutritious. But when you make a kale jangta, you will see. It's chewy, sweet, crunchy. All flavor is inside. All together is a package. Really delicious. And good side dish. Just enjoy this with rice. Today we made kale jangta. You can make different kinds of jangta. Let me know. Hey Mangchi, I made spinach jangta. Hey Mangchi, I made the, you know, the green chili pepper jangta. So let me know how your jangta is going on. Okay? So Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye. Are you planning to prepare Korean meal with the kale jangta? Great. Why don't you make a soup? I recommend beef radish soup. Beef radish soup, kale jangta, and rice and kimchi will be perfect meal. You want some dessert? Cold, sweet dessert? How about to make topping soup? Shaved ice with sweet red bean and fruit. Enjoy!